the chamber was established in 1966 by a few Italian entrepreneurs who thought they should promote business between India and Italy. And Mr. Rossi was the one, one who spearheaded, spearheaded them. Dr. Rossi was a very dynamic personality. He had varied interests in life. He was a race car enthusiast. He would organize car racing in Mumbai for the first time. He was also interested in horse racing. And he had, in a very short time, cultivated a lot of friends in India in various fields. And all this helped the Indo-Italian chamber to come to prominence. India had just opened up its economy. Uh, so there was a lot of excitement, interest in the Indian economy. Italy was opening up to look uh, at this uh, country as a potential country, as a market. Opportunities came along. We expanded the activities of the chamber, employed more people, more full-time secretary general. We entered into a collaboration with some, even with the European Union. So we did a project on entrepreneurial development, which was the first time it was done. We opened up offices in Calcutta, in Chennai, in Delhi, in Bangalore, Bombay, of course, the headquarters. And we have represented the office in Goa for a long time. So we really expanded into a whole India. It was very exciting to work with the Dr. Rossi, Mr. Agarwal, and uh, Mr. Datta. And finally also to work with uh, Mr. Nair for many years, uh, which conducted the, the chamber in various moments of its life. challenge that we face as, a, as an Italian Chamber of Commerce abroad is to keep pace with the ever-changing ever context in which we operate. We are facing a, what I would call a kind of paradigmatic shift in the way we have been operating. Traditionally our major stakeholders have always been Italian institutions and organizations, namely the Italian Chambers of Commerce. As of today, the focus of our activity is more and more shifting instead towards providing value-added services to our members. The most important uh, change has been uh, the uh, shift of the activity from a focus on promoting the Italian economy in India to uh, the promotion of bilateral exchanges. And the Chamber, with its uh, established presence in five offices in the whole country, has the capability to somehow cope with this kind of requests. The Indo-Italian Chamber will be the preferred platform in India and the Indian subcontinent for institutions, companies, academies and individuals to facilitate, establish and develop business in their target market, supported whenever possible by cultural, social and scientific initiatives.
So I am here in um, in Mumbai since 2004, and uh, almost now I, I have 1,500 students in these years. It's very nice experience, I think, also for you, Monica, no? Because uh, I learn a lot of things, particularly the Indian culture. Also, teaching is a kind of rediscovering myself the beauty and the richness of Italian culture. I take care of the language department and uh, branding events and government uh, alliance. We also offer basically the visa services to our members. These visa services actually as a chamber we, we give on a fast track basis. Business assistance department at the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce which is basically the info desk helps Indian and Italian companies to bridge the gap between them. Uh, wherein we assist the Indian companies who are interested to look into the Italian market and the Italian companies who are interested to enter the Indian market. I'm working in the Italian Chamber in various projects, in various aspects and uh, it has given me lots of opportunity. Piatta Forma India Desk is a desk uh, started by two leading Italian association Uchimo and Asukuma Plast. Uchimo is the association which has all the members who produce machine tools, robotics, automation and ancillary products and Asokoma Plast has all the members who produce plastic and rubber processing machinery as well as molds. The chamber has two major cluster projects, the Indo-Italian Agri-Food Tech Centre and the Make It Sustainable Building Materials. The first encompasses the entire agri-food value chain from farm to table space. The second looks after green building initiatives and certification of building materials. Our chambers events are entirely customized to our members' needs and generally speaking all our stakeholders. We have big branding events where we showcase Italian brands already present in India. The Indian market has three major interesting aspects which are of interest for Italian companies. A, it is its size, which is particularly interesting for consumer goods. Second thing is a dire need of technology. And the third thing is um, widespread recognition of Italy and made in Italy product as outstanding uh, for their quality in design materials and in the uh, craftsmanship. It is not uh, easy, it's not easy at all. Uh, uh, we have to adjust ourselves uh, to the scenario and to the dynamics of the market in India. Uh, and it is not vice versa. You cannot move to India alone. Never think about it. You need an organization very well settled and recognized here to guide and support you during your experience. In India, you can find the best skills for hand embroidery, full of talent and full of color. India is a huge and a growing country and uh, you need to approach in a professional and very organized manner. You need to plan your journey, you need uh, to be ready to fight. You need to be very, very special and positive. Uh, I will say that based on the experience, uh, three main challenges are bureaucracy, first of all, because it usually takes much more time, much more effort if compared with other countries. A uh, second is the need for local contacts, which I would say is truly important, especially uh, in some uh, specific sectors. And the third, I would say also the adaptation uh, to the local needs. Another challenge could uh, potentially be uh, the awkwardness that I see in many Indian uh, businessmen in uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, women in managerial position. And, um, of course, things have uh, improved a lot since I moved to Mumbai uh, about eight years ago. First reason is because there are a lot of uh, untapped opportunities to be exploited. Second aspect, uh, uh, it's very interesting for Italian companies penetrating the Indian market because uh, uh, the Italian brands are well recognized here in India, especially in, in some segments like uh, food, fashion, uh, capital goods and uh, precision uh, machinery and technology. In any case, uh, once you find the right key to deal with uh, this culture, this place uh, and the way everything is approached, uh, India is definitely an interesting place for business. Indians are very well aware of you know, what is uh, happening all around. So, uh, adopting any Italian or other company's uh, products becomes very easy because they are very well aware. 
Of course, there are weak points also in our relation. There is uh, some difficulties in understanding the different administrative procedure, the different norm, the particular perspective by which uh, the foreign exchange regulation, the import export procedure are handled in this particular country due to the historical background and the particular line of uh, development has been taken. But this perspective can be overcome. I would urge many Italian companies to look at India. This is the right time to come to India and do business in India. The Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce is one of the most important institutions of the Sistema Italia, we call it in Italian, which means the network of Italian institutions uh, um, all engaged in promoting the Italian beauty, the Italian business and the Italian uh, uh, companies in India. We are proud to work with Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce in its Make It Sustainable Building Materials program. I would like you to express uh, my thanks uh, to the Chamber of Commerce uh, Italo-Indian uh, by which uh, uh, as Chateau Dax, uh, one of the leading company in furniture in Europe, uh, we have uh, reached a very big success uh, on the Indian market. We started the ID desk in India with the help of the Chamber in uh, 2015 and uh, if you ask me this question that how the Chamber helped IED, I would say 100%. The Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce uh, has a huge potential in terms of networking, in terms of connections and uh, I would like to thank the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce for the assistance that has been given to our organization to Cut Energy India. Yes, I know Italian Chamber for many years. We have collaborated for the project of Hospitalità Italiana. We have a very committed staff led by a permanently based uh, in India manager. Tanti auguri Indo-Italian Chamber. Happy birthday Indo-Italian Chamber. Happy birthday Indo-Italian Chamber. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday Indo-Italian Chamber. Happy birthday Indo-Italian Chamber. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday in the Italian chamber. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth